President Wisdom. Uh, the General Assembly has adopted the 2022-23 state budget on July 8th. Each Chester County school has been allocated increase, uh, allocated an increased amount in basic education, special education, school safety and security grants, and the school mental health grants. The budget plan provides for a 45.3 billion budget increase for the next year, a 1.3 billion or 3% increase from last year, and that is if it includes supplemental and federal COVID relief funds. The House amended and passed the Omnibus School Bus Code Bill, which is House Bill 1642. The Senate later concurred uh, these amendments. The highlights are, and there's a lot of them, so I'm only going to read a few of them. Uh, there are special provisions applicable to keystone exams, graduation requirements, and alternative competency assessments. These are important because it does provide an alternative pathway to prove proficiency in any school year in which a demonstration of proficiency on a keystone exam is required for high school graduation. Um, special ed funding, there is now an implementation of the recommendations of special ed funding commission, which includes a requirement that the commission be reconvened in 2024 to review and make recommendations for the adjustment to the formula by the end of 2024. Uh, there is a part that says out of state candidates for certification, and this allows for the Pennsylvania Department of Education to issue a career and technical instructional certificate to an out of state candidate who satisfies certain criteria. It also allows PDE to issue a comparable instructional certificate to out of state educational candidates who satisfy certain criteria. And this is important to help get more teachers into Pennsylvania. Uh, <clears throat> they have changed um, beginning in the 23 24 school year home education program, student participation. Uh, it's going to is require school districts to develop policies to permit children enrolled in home education programs to participate on the same basis as other students in co-curricular activities that merge extracurricular activities with a required academic course, including band and orchestra, and permit children in home education programs to participate in academic course equaling up to at least one quarter of the school day for full-time students pursuant to district policies if the student meets criteria. Um, special education extended enrollment uh, has been continued and allows students with a disability that reach the age of 21 during the 2021-22 school year or between the 2021-22 and 22-23 school year to attend school for the 22-23 school year and the deadline to enroll is August 22. And then there is also a mental health survey. Um, there is a statewide school safety and security committee that will develop a survey of mental health services to be administered by school districts by August 1st of 2022. We must respond to the survey by the end of August and all data will be kept confidential and not be subject to right to knows. There is a lot more to um, that bill that definitely does impact um, school districts. Um, please feel free to look it up. Um, and that concludes my report.